hello, hello, friends and loved ones, and welcome to another entry of my Megami Tensei rankings. I've looked at SMT5, and I've looked at SMT4, and now it's time to take a look at that little in-between title, the new and redesigned demons from SMT4 Apocalypse. This was the first game where Doi took over as the main demon designer, and so what we've got here is a blend of brand new demons, a handful of redesigned guest demons from 4, and some new takes on old favorites. Just like before, consider this your spoiler warning. I'm not going to be going into any story specifics, but there are definitely a few whose very existence is rather spoilery for the game, so watch at your own risk. Okay, so I'm going to put all the demons into three different groups, and I'll go from there. And I figure the best place to start is with Doi's redesigns of the demons from 4. I probably won't have too much to add to these because I already covered them in the last video, so these should go by pretty quick. Um, once again, I'm going to start with Nypea, whom I gave an A last time, and I think I'm going to keep that. I, I will say Doi's version kind of removes one aspect I liked from this demon. I don't think it looks as, like, shiny and almost crystalline, but I still think it's a cute demon, and Doi's version is fine. It it's still an A rank for me. Next up is Centaur. Doi's design is basically the same, it's just the pose is different. Um, I think that makes it feel a little bit less static, but I still like this weird boy. I still love the colors. I'm gonna keep that B rating. I, I, I like it. And next up is Tenkai. This is the first demon where I'm gonna change my ranking. Last time I gave Tenkai an A, but honestly, I, I thought about it more and more after that video came out, and I really think Tenkai deserved better, so I am gonna give him an S rank. To clarify, this is not me saying that Doi's Tenkai is, like, better than Shinohara's or anything. I just genuinely think Tenkai should have gotten an S from the start. That's on me, so consider this a current grade, as well as an update to my video on 4. Then there's Medusa, and I do think this is better. I know most of us would, would agree the face is a lot less jarring. But I, I, I do think Doi also toned down a lot of those, like, extra extravagant details that I didn't really care for in 4. Um, I'm not gonna say that I like Doi's Medusa, but I do think it's an improvement. Last time I gave Medusa a D, I think I'm gonna bump that up to a C. Also, nice job, Doi. You made a Medusa where me looking into her eyes? Never gonna be an issue. Alright, so, Merkaba is basically the same design. I, I do think Doi's line art makes it look a lot cleaner and more like it fits in with the rest of the game. I do think it's a little odd. The only major difference I'm seeing is I think Doi made Merkaba's boobs way bigger, which kind of seems unnecessary for him. Um, I'm probably going to keep the same rating on this one. It, it's still going to be a B tier for me. And lastly in this group we have Lucifer. I know Lucifer in 4 was a bit of a divisive design, and it's also the one Doi changed the most. I think even he said he didn't really know how to make that last Lucifer look good for this game without making some big changes. And honestly, I, I, I do like this design better. I, I think the black and gold is a much better color choice than that weird off-white and gold. Uh, I love the more sinister expression, and something about him constantly sitting is a really nice touch. Like, this is a Lucifer I could see myself making a shady deal with. I gave Lucifer and 4 a D. I'm gonna bump this one up quite a bit. I I'm gonna give it a B. I, I really do like this one quite a bit more. Okay, so the next group is just gonna be new faces that aren't particularly spoilery, I guess. So these are all new designs. Let's dive right in. So first up, we'll start with the big one. Dogda is one of the biggest figures in the game, and I, I like him. I, I think it's a, a cool design. I love the touches for the, like, the semi-exposed skull. I like the red hair as, like, a connection to his Celtic roots. Um, back when I talked about Fionn McCool in SMT5, I commented that I wish he'd actually been Irish. I kind of blame Dogda for establishing that. I think Xander's voice on this guy really added a lot to make him a memorable character and demon. Uh, I definitely like Dogda. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna go A here. A, -A, A tier, yeah. Then there's his mother, Danu, who does not have an accent. I always thought that was kind of weird. This one is cool. She works really well as a nature goddess. I think the mask is 
a little goofy and unnecessary. I, I think I'd rather have just seen what her face looks like without it, because I really like the wood texture on the rest of her body. Like, that looks great. Uh, I would have liked to have seen that on the face as well. She's definitely not, like, a favorite of mine, but I, I enjoy her well enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give her, like, a B. Adra Melak is an S tier. I love this dude. This combination of the donkey and the peacock is very fitting from a demon design and how this figure is presented. And then they took those elements and also made him, like, a carnival party animal is that extra oomph I, I love seeing in Mega Ten designs. I love this dude, and the fact that he just straight up kills you in the first, like, 20 minutes of the game really stands out, for, for sure. Uh, S tier. I, I love Adramelic. Chiro Nup is a demon that was, like, specifically created to be a mascot, and yet I think that kind of failed because he is not the demon I think of when I think of Apocalypse. Like, it's not a bad design or anything. It's a little little cartoony fox for a minor fox deity. I, I, I get it. I just don't think it necessarily succeeded at being a beloved mascot. I'm not, I'm not going to mark it down for that. I just... It's it, it's weird that it feels like he fails at the one thing he was trying to do. Um, but I'm, I'm still going to give him, like, a B tier. It's still a cute little fox. Mermaid is a mixed one for me. I, I think the gray scales are just really ugly. Like, I, I talk about colors a lot. This is one where I don't really like that color. Um, but I do like the green hair. I, I think her hair looks good. I think the flaming skulls are just distracting. I don't, I don't know why they need to be there. I don't think they need to be there. I know Doi's Mermaid has her fans. I don't hate her or anything, but I feel like I have more criticisms than compliments, so I'm probably just gonna go middle of the road here with a C. Mephistopheles is a very fitting design. I, like, if I didn't know who this was, and you showed him to me, I'd probably be able to guess who it was, because I've seen Mephist in, like, other things. And Doi's design is just a very good, solid take on that. He's just this cool devil guy. It, it, it works. I'm gonna go A tier. Alright, now it's time for Cleopatra. That's gonna be the tough one here. I am... I am prepared to be labeled as a hypocrite for this, and that's fine, I've accepted this, because Cleopatra is ridiculous. Uh, remember how in my SMT5 video, uh, I said they tried way too hard to make Nua sexy, and she just came across as goofy to me, and I could not take her seriously, like even a little bit? Well, with Cleopatra, I think that exact same issue works really well in her favor. Because being known as one of history's most beautiful women is kind of Cleopatra's thing. She's got like this sexiness that toppled entire empires, and I feel that is demonstrated well enough here. I'm, I'm gonna give her an A rank, and honestly, the only thing keeping her from S is that I don't think she looks Egyptian. That could have been a little better. Alright, so Konohikuna is this little guy. He rocks! I, I love this design. I love I love the leaf. I love the little owl symbolism. He works really well. I'm I'm just gonna go A rank on this one. This this little guy. I, I can dig it. Inanna Inanna is stupid. The F tier. Like like what on earth were they thinking with this design? Like, I, I don't wanna let concept art cloud my judgment, but I'm I'm like even madder knowing this thing could have looked not entirely awful. Like, it, it not a sucks, okay? It, F rank. Maitreya is interesting. I kind of dig the whole future Buddha coupled with renowned political activist cross-dresser Matsuko Deluxe. It's not a combination you'd think would work, but that's kind of what Megaten manages to do. There is this cool balance of it being, like, both serene and threatening. I I remember not really liking his English voice, though. I, I didn't think his voice fit very well. I thought that was... It, it was very strange. Um, but I, th I think design-wise, it works well enough. I'm gonna go B-tier on this one. Odin is another one I have very mixed feelings towards. I know Doi's Odin is very popular. I think making Odin Ultraman was a really weird move, and to be clear, I am an Ultraman fan. I like Ultraman. It just seems really weird for Odin, 
but I do also really like the blue and gold, and I love the extra Odin touches we've got here. Like, like I love, I love that he's got his Raven. I love the more detailed Gungnir. I, I was gonna give him a C, but th that's really for demons. I don't, I, I think don't rise above okay. And Doi's Odin is definitely better than okay. So I'm, I'm gonna go B for him too. Uh, and then next up is Krishna, who I feel like I mostly like. When you have a major demonic figure that's so human, it can work really well. Um, like a lot of other demons, I am a huge fan of the colors here. I think the only thing I really just do not like are his brown shorts. Uh, he just makes me think of, like, UPS. Um, Kr Krishna mostly works for me, though. I'm, I'm gonna go A rank for him. I think if he'd been in, like, a full suit that matched his jacket, he probably would have been in S rank. I think I'd have liked that a lot better. It's it's hard to be intimidating in shorts. Alright, and lastly in this group is Shesha, which I believe is just another name for Ananta, whom we're pretty familiar with in the franchise. I think he's kind of goofy. I feel like this giant, multi-headed, flaming lava snake thing should be way cooler. I think it's something about the face. It almost feels like a cat face. Like he's a big grumpy kitty. Uh, yeah, Shaysha never really did a whole lot for me. I'm gonna go C tier for him. All right, and now we are in the final group and this is just gonna be like the super spoiler demons. So if you've been fine so far, but still think you wanna avoid spoilers, now would be the time to duck out. I still appreciate you watching this far. I would totally understand because the rest of these demons kind of reveal stuff about the game, even if I don't go into the plot details. Since we're still on the subject, let's talk about Shesha's second form. I think it's kind of dumb. I do like the face better, like, like the shape of the face and all the eyeballs and stuff. Everything else feels like a step down. I think a Shesha that actually combined the strengths of both forms would be a pretty great demon, but we do not have that. We have what I consider an even weaker giant snake than Flamey McKitty Face. So, Shesha's second form is, I think, gonna be a D tier. Uh, yeah, just, yeah, D. Uh, and while I'm on transformations, we also have Maitreya becoming Mitra Buddha, which is basically the same design, but with a kinda silly bull head and wings. Uh, the white dre dress, I'm, I'm gonna call it a dress, doesn't look as good to me. Um, like with Odin, I think the blue and gold work. I, I actually really like the shade of blue they use here. This is a gorgeous color, but I do think it's a weaker Maitreya. So Mitra Buddha is going to get knocked down to a C. Next up is Satan, and Satan is rad. I, I know this dude is popular, and I see why. He's freaking cool. Black and red always works. The human heads and the dragon heads and the spikes through the hands. I, I, I love it. Uh, I like I like this more than Kaneko Satan. I, I see why people keep wanting this dude to come back. I'd love to see this dude again. Um, you know what? I haven't given out many of these today. S rank. S rank for Satan. How about that? Now we have Vishnu Flynn, whom I'm very mad they did not call Flishnu. He has two forms. One has two arms and is holding a lotus. The other has these two extra floaty arms, and all four of them have lightsabers for some reason. This is a demon I think could have been really cool. Like, this is what happens when Krishna takes over Flynn. I get why it's this way from a story perspective. I mainly hate his expression. He's got that, like, clenched teeth thing. Um, like I said, I, I get why, but... I, I, I think having Flynn ascended to this godlike status is interesting, and it's cool how this is noticeably Flynn, but also very clearly Vishnu. It's a neat fusion, but I think I'm gonna give both of them a C. I, I wish I liked this more than I did. I think the story is a huge part of that, more so than the than the design. And finally, we have Yahweh. I, I know I'm pronouncing that wrong because the whole point of that name is there's literally no right way to pronounce it. Um, so his first form is the classic 
bald, grumpy old lemon face man. I feel like this is as cool as you can make that idea look, but it's not the early 90s anymore. You, you don't have to keep Yawa as a bald yellow dude. D tier. Like, I get that he's this iconic god, but he looks dumb. And then he transforms and has this over-the-top black wing serpent monstrosity. I think my favorite thing about this is, like, the, the little, like, locust or, or grasshopper head or whatever that's supposed to be. It just seems like it's having a good time. This is definitely a step up from the Lemons. It feels much more like a final boss showdown, but I'm still not, like, super in love with it or anything. So, um, I'm just gonna go C tier on this one. It's, it's okay. Little bit of a fizzle to go out on, but that's all the new demons from Shin Megami Tensei IV Apocalypse. For Doi's first time at the Demon Helm, I think he did mostly fine. There's a lot of perfectly okay or slightly above average demons, a few great successes, and then some stinkers, like Inanna. So those are my subjective ratings. Tell me why my opinions are dumb and bad and why I'm wrong about your favorites in the comments below, and feel free to offer suggestions for other categories you'd like to see me cover and rank. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, take care.